In this video, I'm going to show you how you can front multiple origins or backends through a single AWS CloudFront distribution. So I've already created distribution. I have two origins. One of them is just a default one, and one of them is a, a QA one. That's the only difference. Uh, in the QA one, so let me quickly jump into it. The QA one is pointing to this bucket. So both are pointing to um, an S3 bucket. Obviously, one of them could be pointing to a load balancer or a public URL somewhere else. Um, okay, so also what I have is a behavior. So I'm saying that anything with the QA um, that starts with the QA subfolder pattern in the URL and anything there is a wildcard that will get sent to the second bucket, right? So let's have a quick look at the buckets. So we'll just go quickly to S3. And we have two buckets here in this test account. So that's one bucket, and that's the other bucket you're just opening there at the moment. So if we look at the first bucket, we have an index HTML. Everything's public here at the moment. Now, typically, you wouldn't do this. You'd have an origin access ID where CloudFront would talk to the S3 bucket uh, privately. You don't need to expose everything in your S3 bucket if it's been fronted by, by CloudFront. But just quickly to show you, this is index. That's the default one. And then the second one, we have the QA. Now, we have the QA subfolder because by default, once we have specified that folder, just if we quickly jump back here, press escape. Uh, once we specify this pattern, this this actually gets sent to the bucket. So you think it's like everything, the star gets sent. No, it's the whole thing gets sent to the bucket. So by default, in our second origin, we have a QA folder, which I've already, so let me just jump back into show. We have a QA folder, and then we have an index HTML and a user PNG. So just to show this working, we we'll quickly come over here. We'll go to our distribution. We'll get the URL. We we'll copy this, we'll paste it to a new tab. And I failed to paste it. Let me just do that once more. Come on, all fingers, all thumbs, I suppose. Copy, true copy. Come over here. All right. So this is the default one we see now. If we go to the QA, oops, if we go to the QA folder, it's slash forward QA and index HTML. So there's the index HTML, and we can also show the, the PNG. Or the user PNG. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that helps them.